it, it, it is the most important issue, in my view, in human history. It's not merely that we're not alone, that we have never been alone. As I said, it's lucky I didn't end up in jail because I, I drove my friends up the wall. I pushed my secure, security clearance to the limit. I used to get into fi classified file ca cabinets and sort through material and look for photographs and reproduce things that should not have been reproduced. If there had been a threat from these guys, whoever these guys were, right. it, it would have been over a long time ago. As one of our old generals used to say, they could have cleaned our clock from the very beginning. Because when we started shooting at them, they had a unique way of eliminating all of the electrical systems in our aircraft. That these guys could be walking up and down the corridors of Shape Headquarters, or the Pentagon, or the White House. Were they? I have always suspected that yes, they have been. How do you tell Christian fundamentalists that that lovely man from Galilee 2,000 years ago was a part of that program? at me and he went over to the vault and he pulled this thing out and he said, threw it on my desk and he says, hey, this will wake you up. Read this. It was the assessment. I mean, he said when the old man read that story or with that report, the assessment, he says it hit him like a truck, hit him like a ton of bricks. Mm -hmm. He told me that the general threw his hat across the desk and he says, do you know what the hell this means? Everything we've got, everything we've done, everything we've had, doesn't mean a damn thing. Monumental aggravation and frustration that the government had continued over all these years to lie to the people. A real hero, you know, a real hero in a lot of people's eyes. Because you came forward well, at a time and said, I signed an oath, but, you know, it doesn't matter come get me, I'm going to tell the truth, because people need to know. I said it, and I'll say it again, and I shared it with Bill downstairs. I believed from the very beginning, and I still hold deep in my heart, that this is the greatest story in human history. This is a story of who we are, how we came to be here, what kind of a species we are, and where we're going. It, it is the most important issue, in my view, in human history. It's not merely that we're not alone, that we have never been alone. We have had what I have shared several many times. We have had an intimate interrelationship with advanced extraterrestrial intelligence from the beginning of human history. And that is dynamite. And I've tried to share what I've learned, and I told Bill earlier, I, I, I will tell you what I've seen, what I've learned, and what I've concluded. And this will probably be, I really sincerely believe, that this will be my last interview. So I will share with you things that I strongly be, believe and strongly hold, that even today, it's the greatest story in human history. It involves who we are. It involves what we are as a species. It involves how we came to be. Now for many, many years I, I held to the view that once we could get this out, many of us who were military would say what we've seen, what we've learned, what we've concluded, experiences we've had personally. And I kept naively thinking, ah, once we get it out, the public is going to clamor for more. Oh, tell us more, tell us more, tell us more. And then the government would respond by opening up and telling the public the truth. Well, forgive me, I certainly have learned my lesson. That didn't happen, and I believe it isn't about to happen, because the story is simply too big. This, this involves 
our origins as a species, as a race. I have almost reached the point where I am sympathizing with the government for not telling the truth, and I'm to a point where I sympathize with the government by saying that the masses of people out there probably are not ready for the truth that the masses of people probably couldn't handle the truth. Because the truth is incredible. It's dynamite. I use an analogy about Pandora's box, and I know you're familiar with the old Greek legend. This, this alien issue, this extraterrestrial presence issue, is like Pandora's box. You can't open it just a tiny bit. You can't just tiny lift the lid and let just a little bit out. Because if you open the box, boom, everything's going to come out. The masses of people are going to demand more, 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 and more. Which I believe they have a right to. But that mass of information, in fact, is going to be earth-shaking, literally earth-shaking. Wouldn't you consider yourself something of an ordinary person? I mean, obviously you're fairly extraordinary. And, I've always and, felt of myself as a typical ordinary guy, yeah. All right. But, and you handle it. So Not why, easily. Not easily, really. No. Can you tell me what it was like? My, let me tell you that when you first I've been at this out, for over 40 years. Right. And I first began to get some information of what was involved here. That to me was like a drug addict. You know, he, I, I've never taken drugs. Well, I smoke a little and I drink coffee and I have a little bourbon now and then. <laughs> but aside, I've never taken hard drugs. Right. But it, it was almost like an addict. Once I learned officially from government documents what was, was taking place, what was happening, my God, I couldn't get enough. I couldn't learn enough. I, I was voracious to get more and more and more and more. And I became a nuisance to my friends. It's a wonder that I was able to retire honorably without ending up in Fort Leavenworth, which is a disciplinary barracks, by the way. It's a prison, military prison. It's amazing that I've gotten to this point in my life without going to jail. Okay, well, you were highly respected at the time when you discovered this information. Would you say that in your career as a military? Yeah, I, I, I had been given a, a, a cosmic top secret clearance, which right. was and still is the highest security classification that NATO has. Okay, but cosmic top secret, did that mean to you that you were going to be let in on the secrets of, of our you know, extraterrestrial relations with other planets? No, it simply meant that I was given access to a military document, a study that NATO con conducted from 1961 to 1964. <clears throat> when I got to shape in Paris in 1963, I learned of a, of a study that was underway. I had had a top secret clearance when I arrived, which you had to have to get to that particular assignment. It was a rather choice assignment, by the way. Paris, in those days, took, okay. my, took my family, my kids went to high school in Paris. <clears throat> it was a choice assignment, and uh, not everybody got that assignment. You, you were selected, and you were analyzed, and you had to have so many little pluses in your box to get that. So, but top secret way back then, I mean, Top secret.